welcome back to the channel guys as you can see we're back in the van uh, since I last done the van video I had a few comments and questions uh, first comment was uh, why did I decide not to have a fridge second comment was what do I do for power for running my lights and stuff like that these lights what's going on these lights here are my lights and the other question I had was, what do I do for signal for TV? So, three questions we're gonna go over and uh, maybe check in a bunch of other stuff. But first question, why did I opt not to have a fridge was, um, I opted for storage over a fridge because I think it's important when you're building a van, build it to your needs. And uh, for me, a fridge isn't, it is not essential. Um, if I'm out for a day or two, whatever I need to put in a fridge, I can just check it in. This little cooler box with a nice pack and it lasts a day or two easy, you know, for, for a weekend. Oh, I've actually got this. Fits nicely down behind, well, in between the, the driver's seat and the passenger seat. What I like about this as well, it's got the two cup holders there, which is good for your cups in. You can get about 10, 10 12 cans in there. Or whatever you want to put in there. I don't actually plug it in. I always find if you put something that's really cold in there, you know, it stays cold anyway. So, yeah, for me, it was more storage than, uh, you know, I don't know if you've seen the uh, the fridges they put in these vans. It's, it could take up a good size of your cupboard. So, basically, see uh, this cupboard here, normally that would be taken up as a fridge, but in, in here, obviously, I've got loads of storage. Uh, I got my gas bottle and stuff like that, so yeah, that's why I didn't have a fridge um, You know Cold drinks you put them in the cooler box they, they last last for a while uh, You know fresh Food like bacon sausage Maybe better if you put that in for, in the cooler box It'll st still stay cool for a weekend and you know most stuff I buy is it's gone within a day or two um Going on to the uh, power then, obviously I've just got a little leisure battery in the back there, which is connected up to the main battery with a split charger. So <clears throat> whenever I'm driving, that's always constantly charging. I think the longest I've been parked up and using all my lights and the TV, two days and no issues then. So I know it's good for a good two days, but whenever I'm out in the van, I, I don't like to stay in the same. <clears throat> same place for too long so i'm always traveling so the battery's always getting charged back up and uh for tv signal i've got this little area that i bought off amazon uh it's called one by one i can put links in the description if you want it's one by one aerial and uh, i just slip this in under the rubber on the front windscreen or the side side windows anywhere like that and um to be honest with you everywhere i've been I, i've had a signal with it and uh I go to some quite rural locations, so quite impressed with that little uh, aerial. And uh, you know, I think it was like 10, 11 quid, so it's worth a try if you want to try something like that. Um, <clears throat> other things that I think that a uh, good idea if you're in a van, especially one which I haven't got an eye top, is uh, a little knee pad. And because uh, what, what I've what I found. In the summer when the doors open and parked up and i'm just doing a bit of cooking or in and out of the cupboards i always find them on my knees so i always keep a little knee pad i haven't got it yet oh my god got a little knee pad that i keep down there just want like one of them things you kneel on if you're gardening so that's quite <coughs> an handy thing for a van which i haven't got a high top and uh <laughs> somebody was commenting on one of the photos uh, about my crocs uh I think the Crocs are essential if you've got a van. But honestly, when when you're getting in and out the van, sometimes you, you know you don't know what's out there. You're stepping in slugs and all sorts. So uh, with the Crocs, you can just chuck them straight on. And if you actually got a walking Crocs, right, they actually stay on your feet like trainers. They're not like you know, sandals or anything like that where you feel like you've got to hold them onto your feet. So Crocs rocks, even with socks. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that, but. Uh, yeah, so basically that's it. Just a little update on the van and um, <clears throat> why I didn't have a fridge and stuff like that. Uh, if you've got any more questions, pop them in the comments box below. 
uh, give this video a like and uh, if you haven't already subscribed you can do that now as well and another reason why I've done this video is because I wanted to try out the new well it's not new it's probably almost coming up a year old now but it's the uh, DJI Osmo mobile so uh, yeah I wanted to try that out so if you're wondering how am I getting tracked basically got my phone on the Osmo and uh, it's doing a good job Anyway, hope you're all safe and well and I'll catch you all soon.